Well, I would have been 30-something, 30 30-something, 30 and uh, about half a lifetime ago, actually. And I uh, just did little bits and pieces, um, probably as a result of the Sullivans, which sort of uh, was a pretty high-rating show, and as a result, uh, I got a bit of uh, voiceover work out of that. Some things are sometimes quite challenging. I had one the other day where I had to do sort of lots of those um, African sounds, like <coughs> those click sounds. And, and when you're trying to say something at the same time as <coughs> doing those, it was <coughs> quite difficult. Yeah, it was like a, something when you... Uh, challenging things are things like that, things like you've never been asked to do them before. And then someone says, OK, can you do that? And you say, well, I suppose I'll give it a go. Yeah. Uh, look, the funniest memories I have from voice jobs are from doing radio drama, which is a bizarre situation. Like you're sitting in a big studio and there's all these people sitting around and we're going back to the 70s and 80s and people used to smoke like mad. There'd be smoke in the room and full ashtrays stank to high heaven. And, and, and the, you'd be talking away. It might be a dinner party scene. There's other actors around with knives and forks and plates going clink, 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 clink. And the, they all used to have a car door in, in the wall and hop out of a car and somebody open the door and cut it. And, and different, um, if you're walking, you might have to walk on, on metal, you know, um, stone chips or something. They'd have all the little beds of different surfaces. And it's, it's very bizarre when you see, you look around and you see people sort of walking up iron steps and somebody clinking, clinking um, cutlery and, and somebody else at the microphone doing the voice. And it was so, it's just very surreal, very surreal, very funny. I'd, I'd often thought it'd be great to do a little short film on recording a radio play because it'd be more funny than, than the actual show itself. But. I love working with the um, producers of the, at the studios. I love working with the producers. I've known many of them for a long time and the fact that we can communicate without words when our business is all about words is another something that just gives me that little special thrill. I would say reasonable, a reasonable voice and a voice that is sort of reasonable in both, in both um, uses of the word. I think I've got a voice that appeals to people as a sincere voice and I can put a lot of emotion into it when I want and it's a voice that uh, people believe my voice, my heart, oh, that's two words. Mellifluous, <laughs> resonant, I don't know, one word's really hard. 